Americans are going to have to suffer through another impeachment uh, trial of Donald J. Trump. The House impeachment managers this morning filed their pre-trial brief in their case against former President Trump, previewing the previewing their argument that they're going to make against him. Um, the uh, impeachment team, led by Representative Jamie Raskin, Democrat from Maryland, wrote, In a grievous betrayal of his oath of office, President Trump incited a violent mob to attack the United States Capitol during the joint session, thus impeding Congress's confirmation of Joseph R. Biden Jr. as the winner of the presidential election. As it stormed the Capitol, the mob yelled out, President Trump sent us, hang Mike Pence and traitor, traitor, traitor. The facts are compelling, and the evidence is overwhelming, says the brief. Last night, uh, President, one of President Trump's impeachment defense lawyers, David Schoen, appeared with Sean Hannity on Fox News. Besides the fact that this process is completely unconstitutional and that this is a very, very dangerous uh, road to take with respect to the First Amendment, putting at risk any a uh, passionate political speaker, uh, which is um, really an, uh, against everything we believe in in this country, foundation of the First Amendment. But I'm going to tell you, I think it's also the most ill-advised legislative action that I've seen in my lifetime. It is tearing the country apart at a time when we don't need anything like that. I think President Biden missed a great opportunity to be a statesman and to demand that this thing be called off, frankly. Um, this is the political weaponization of the impeachment process. There was a rush to judgment. Uh, Listen, when President Trump became president, the day he was elected, there were calls for his impeachment ready. This is the weapon they've tried to use against him. Um, But now we know also that the agenda, um, Ms. Pelosi and others, is simply to bar President Trump from ever running for president again. And that's about as undemocratic as you can get. Can you imagine the slap in the face that is to the 75 million or more voters who voted for Donald Trump And other supporters, even people who didn't vote for him, support an open political process. Fair-minded people don't support using the impeachment process to then try to bar someone from running for office office again. You know, I'm very encouraged by seeing this lawyer last night because there had been reports that the president, he wanted his legal defense to be election fraud. And supposedly his legal team largely uh, lawyers out of Columbia, South Carolina, resigned en masse because they weren't about to make that the impeachment defense. The defense is that this is unconstitutional, that it is ridiculous to, I mean, even the merits of, you know, the evidence will be very plain that the president literally said, President Trump literally said, go peacefully protest, but they're going to try to, claim that the Chewbacca guy with the helmet and the other lunatics who stormed the Capitol said Trump sent us, and therefore it's Trump's fault. And that is bogus. That is a garbage accusation. 